All right. So, friends, we're looking at um, something that's very confusing to people learning English. This idea of transitive versus intransitive verbs. Okay? Um, so what, what is a transitive, um, a transitive verb? It says in the book, uh, and Kyler, why don't you read it? It says, you see it up here? A transitive verb. Tra uh, transit, uh, transitive verb is a verb that evolved by an object. An object is a noun uh, or a pronoun. A pronoun. Yeah. Uh, in uh, in transitive uh -huh. verb is uh, a verb that is not bold by an object. Good. Right. So intransitive. Let's just do this. No object. Yes. No right. object? So intransitive means the, the verb has no object. Transitive mean the verb has an object. So, back up top, the tree fell over. Does that have an object? No. The no, tree? it doesn't. Is it transitive no. or intransitive? Uh, 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 intransitive. Good. The tree hit the truck. Transitive. Transitive. It has an object. The tree fell on the truck. Transitive. Transitive. On the truck um, is a prepositional phrase acting like an object, object isn't it? Yeah. Um, fortunately, the driver didn't die. And it was In transitive, there's no object. The tree didn't kill the driver. Transitive. Transitive. It has a, what's the object? Object to the driver. Driver, yeah. All right. So, let's take a look at their examples. Um, example A. Yusuf, read example A. Uh, Bob uh, mailed the letter. Good. Bob mailed the letter. So let, let me ask you, where is the subject? Uh, Bob. Bob, where's the verb? Uh, mailed. Good, and where's the object? The letter. What does mailed mean? Mail, he put it in the mailbox so it would go to the address. Yeah. So, Bob mailed the letter. Is that transitive or intransitive? Transitive. Yeah, it's transitive, right? Because it has an object. Now I read B. Uh, Mr. Lee signed the check. Mr. Lee signed the check. Transitive or intransitive? Transitive. It's transitive. It has an object. Yes. Read C. Uh, a cat killed the bird. Good. It's transitive. It's transitive. It has an object. Bird. Yeah. All right. Intransitive. Let's give an example. Read D. Uh, something happened. All right, check it out. Something happened. What is object? No object. There isn't one. So what is it? Transitive or intransitive? Intransitive. It's intransitive. Okay. Read E. Uh, cat, cat came to our house. Okay. Ooh, we made a mistake up top. Uh, something happened in our, to our house. So, where's the subject? Uh, cat. Kate. 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 Where's the verb? Kim. Kim. Is there an object? <laughs> yeah, we have object here. No. So, listen, to our house is actually a prepositional phrase. It is not the object. So, back up at the top in three, the tree fell on the truck. Is that transitive or intransitive? It's actually intransitive. Prepositional phrases are not objects. Uh -huh. Okay? So let's just kind of note that. Oh, All right. What? So be careful. Up top, number three is actually intransitive. Why, teacher? Because it's on because, or uh, um, two. It's not uh, after on or two. Right. A prepositional phrase, it, it doesn't act like an object in the sentence here. It's actually talking about location to our house. That's an adverb, that's an adverbial prepositional phrase, not a noun phrase. Okay? Now read F. Uh, the bird the, the bird died. What is it? Intransitive or transitive? Intransitive. It's intransitive. It doesn't have an object. Are you okay? Yeah. Alright. So listen, there are common
often intransitive verbs. Verbs that are often intransitive. What are they? Let's read them. How to read the list for us? Common, uh, common, intransitive verbs. Uh, agree, ever, arrive, become, become, come, die, ex exist, 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 fail, fall, fall, flow, go, happen, love, laugh, laugh, live, accord, occur, occur, rain, rise, sing, sit. Sleep, uh, sneeze, stand, stay, talk, wait, whoa. All right, so listen. The, the question is, how do you know if a verb is transitive or intransitive for sure 100%? Well, one, you can look to see if it, it's using an object or not, okay? But that's not always useful because sometimes you can put an object on it and make it transitive or leave it off. So the best way, look down below. Do you guys see underneath underneath the graph? This is actually important. Yeah. What does it say? How can you know for sure? Now I'll read it. To find out if a verb is a transitive or intransitive. Look in your dictionary. Yeah, okay, where do I look? In your dictionary. Look at a dictionary. Okay? And keep reading. The usual brief tensions are v VT transitive and VI and transitive. Some verbs have have both transitive and intransitive uses. For example, transitive students study books. Intransitive students study. God, are you with me? So listen, the only way to know for sure is when you look in a dictionary. What difference between uh, uh, V uh, so, T and V I? In a dictionary, right after the word, if it's a verb, you're going to see V T. Now you know because you were in my class yeah. that this means uh, this <laughs> verb transitive. Okay, it means it, it has to, it needs to have an object. Verb intransitive means they shouldn't have an object. That's it. Be careful, some verbs like study can be used both ways. Okay? And it'll put VTVI if it can be used either way, or it'll give you an example of both. But I have a question. Yeah. Now how can I no how can I know yeah. if this example uh, transitive or un intransitive? I know that without object and transitive. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't know uh, this uh, example or uh, st student study box. Students study. I know that transitive and intransitive. Just for that, if I know that, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm okay now. Yeah, you're okay. That's all you need to know. Yeah, literally, if it has an object, it's transitive. If it doesn't have an object, it's intransitive. Okay? And we're going to see. Uh, uh, something else important in a, in a second. Matter of fact, read the next section. Read G and H. G and H? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Transitive ver verbs. Active, Bob mailed the letter. Positive, the letter was mailed by Bob. Good. What is the difference between the teacher and Active and Only transitive yeah. verbs can be used yeah. in the buzzer. Uh, yeah. An intransitive verb is not used in the buzzer. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, don't worry. We will be good. Just keep studying. Keep practicing. Alright, so listen, I need to correct something I said earlier. Okay? Um, earlier I had said that passive is intransitive. That's not, that's not true. 
Basif? Okay. Not true because. Uh, well, let's take a look at this example. We have a letter. Both of these, okay, are considered transitive. Because both actually do have an object. Alright? So, let's take a look. Bob mail the letter. Now, Yusuf, where's the subject? Uh, Bob. Good. Where's the where's the verb? Mail. Good. Okay. And then the, this is the object, right? Okay. Down here, where is the subject? Uh, yeah, good. The, uh, the subject book. Well, this is the subject. The letter. The letter. Subject. Where's the verb? Uh -huh. was well, and then uh, was mailed by Bob. This is the subject, I think. Well, yeah. This is that. Well, see, that's the, that's what's interesting about passive. Remember, I said passive. You need change. the be verb plus verb three, right? The the focus is now on the old object. Now this present better teacher. Was mail. Okay, listen, you got two things going on here. They're trying to teach you something here, okay? Only verbs that are transitive, verbs which have an object, all right, can be made transitive or can be made passive. It says only transitive verbs can be used in the passive. So, only verbs that have an object can be used in the passive format because of what you just noted. You said, wait a minute, Bob is actually the subject. Well, that's the point, okay? You can't make a passive sentence without a subject and an object because what you're doing is you're taking the object from the active sentence, you're putting it in the subject position and then you're taking the subject and you're using it in the in the operator position by Bob. Okay? So the only point they're trying to make is you can only make transitive verbs passive. Because if I don't have an object, I can't I can't do this. Flip-flop. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Alright, now look at intransitive verbs. And look at the rule set. It says, what does it say now? Well, it says an intransitive verb not used is not used in the passive. Let's look at their example. For example, intransitive verbs active something happen. Positive not possible. Incorrect something was happened. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Something was happened, this uh, transitive, not uh, transitive. Something happened. This, this verb right here. No is, object. It has no object and it's intransitive. Intransitive, yeah. Um, you, it's actually, I mean, there, there is no way to put an object after it. Yeah. This happened, you could put an ad, adverb, this happened yesterday. That's not an object. All right, this happened in my home. Again, that's a prepositional phrase uh, of place. That's not an object. Not totally. So anyway, the point is, this is an intransitive verb. It is impossible to make it pass. Impossible, yeah. Yeah, you can't say something was happened. Yeah. It sounds weird, and it's impossible because of this rule. So what are we? What's the point of this whole thing? Do not make intransitive. Don't try to make intransitive. Verbs pass in the passive voice. Are you okay? Yes. It'll make more sense when we practice it in real. I real think life. if uh, we brought, we are practicing this good. Yeah, it's gonna make sense. Hey, turn the recording off, will you? All right, let's practice. <laughs>